Yeah. Yo, what's up everybody? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And more importantly, welcome back to another gig vlog. I'm here with my man Surge, DJ Surge right here. My man DJ Marvia. And we are back at one of my favorite venues, super close to my house. Fun fact, I grew up in like that apartment building right over there. We're at this place called the Berkeley Hotel in Asbury Park, New Jersey. And uh, we're doing a wedding. Ugh, it's very windy. Playlist looks very promising. Not too much stuff today. We just have tower, photo booth, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. The only problem is that the low in here is uh, it's a rough one through the, the hotel's laundry area into an elevator through a kitchen into the ballroom so I'm assuming loading is gonna take us 30 minutes somebody time this loaded so we know for next time yeah, I mean, uh, for future reference uh, I'm guessing 30 minutes to get everything upstairs like I said photo booth lights DJ so uh, let's not waste any time and let's get to it here we go welcome to a gig log it's gonna be a fun one it's gonna be a fun one get ready All right, 12 minutes to get out of the truck. <sighs> Guys, these stack the towers. We're gonna have to bring them standing. They're not gonna fit long ways. Yeah. First trip up the elevator. We're making progress, we're making progress. Time's not too bad. All right, here we are. Looks very familiar, huh? Look at this, I love this room. This is beautiful, Victorian, this is my style, I love it. Um, Surge right now is setting up photo booth right back there. We're right here in front of this mirror. We're gonna center along this chandelier right here. Um, about 150 guests today, these are our tables here. I'm assuming chairs are over at uh, ceremony right now. Through there is our cocktail hour, and through there is our ceremony on the left-hand side. Always looks like a lot of stuff, but believe it or not, it's actually not. Me and Will knocked this out yesterday in 40 minutes or so. Um, today, the only thing we're adding is the addition of the photo booth, but that really doesn't add much time. Sir, just getting on that, and me and Will are gonna work on this now. We're gonna frame everything, we're gonna do towers, we're gonna do sound, and make sure we are good to go. Um, speaking kind of fast, I'm a little bit under pressure just because that load-in was very long. How long did we say on that load-in? 26 minutes? Uh, 24 minutes. 24 minutes to get up here. That's just bringing the stuff upstairs. So yeah, about 30 minutes to get things up. So give yourself plenty of ample time. We arrived here three hours beforehand and we've already eaten 30 minutes of that time and we haven't even started the setup. So uh, just give yourself ample time whenever you work. Aside from this, we also gotta do ceremony and cocktail hour. So let's get to work. middle of our setup and we got some issues going on so there was an orange cord that was laying on the ground when we arrived here it's actually uh, this one right here so you guys can see and uh, essentially this cord is running into the kitchen so I'm assuming that this is because there's no additional circuits there's only one circuit here which is the power outlet right next to us so there's only one circuit and that's only a 15 amp circuit so um, what we're doing now is we're just gonna double check to make sure we are on separate circuits. And uh, a lot of you guys asked me about the circuit buddy and really that thing is really hard to get. It's not made for DJs. So I pulled some strings and I was able to get one made specifically for DJs. So big shout out to my friends over at Colorado Sound and Light. Everybody needs to have one of these in their toolbox and your DJ arsenal, whatever it may be, you need one of these. This is the circuit cue. And essentially what this does is it checks to make sure that you are on separate circuits. You need to do this at every single one of the events that you do, whether it be weddings, whether it be private events, whatever it may be, you need one of these bad boys here. It's a pretty simple device. It's two male ends. So you're gonna plug one end to one side and one end to the other side. So you're plugging into two different plugs, two male ends. Also, what's better about this one versus the circuit buddy is that you can detach this so you can add longer IECs if you'd like to do that. So I just, I'm just using the one that came with and I'm gonna plug it into this one here this one is connected to the circuit that's right behind us the wall circuit and this orange cord is going into the kitchen so if this green light turns on that means we're on separate circuit we can separate the sub and the light and then we can put the console and uh, lighting console on one separate circuit on its own because we never want to lose music I'm okay losing you know the lights but I'm not okay losing the actual you know console itself so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug into this outlet here 
boom, you see how it's green now? That means we are on a different circuit. Now, let me show you what happens when you plug into the same circuit. Now, I mentioned there's one right here next to us and there's also one here, let's say about 10 feet down, and we're gonna check to see if this is on the same circuit. And if you notice there, that is a big mistake that a lot of people would have probably made. People would have assumed that because you know they're about 10 feet apart, you would assume they're on separate circuits, but actually they're on the same circuit. And actually before we did this test, we checked this entire wall. I checked all the outlets all the way down there and they're all on the same circuit. So this entire wall here is on the same circuit. So if you have sparklers, if you have subs, if you have anything that sucks up a lot of juice, like a Nimbus as well, you're gonna blow it out. You might think that, oh, this, these, these outlets are so far apart that they're on separate circuits. However, they are absolutely not. That is why it is essential that everybody pick one of these up. They're only about a hundred bucks and uh, they only made a limited quantity of these. I asked them to make this because I had the circuit buddy and uh, I thought that you know the DJ world needed one of these. So you gotta go out and get this. This is like crucial. You can ask the guys, guys, how often do we use these fucking things? Every event. Every single event we check. Yeah, every event. Every event we check our outlets and uh, this is why we don't run into power issues because we do our due diligence and we have something like the circuit queue. So I'm gonna link it down below. Like I mentioned, it's about a hundred dollars and I think they're doing a promo where you're also gonna get a pair of headphones for a couple, uh, you know, for the first couple orders are going to be giving out a free pair of headphones don't quote me on that i'm pretty sure that's the case though so uh yeah this is the circuit queue let's get back to setting up we're almost done finished setting up ceremony cocktail everything is good to go including our reception I did have to suit up because uh, it took a lot longer than expected um, we almost had a fire guys so if you guys remember that orange cord I was handling it actually started uh, smoking when we started plugging stuff into it so we had to like you know start figuring out what to do we unplugged it quickly and then we had to do a stress test and we had to run a new cable so we got rid of that orange cord that almost you know lit our shit on fire that is a first for me um we also had to help set up our sex guy as you guys can see saxophones right here sex guy's name is Niels, and yeah uh, he's all set up ready to rock and roll i'll show you our cocktail hour and uh, i'll show you exactly what he's using and then i'll come back and walk you through our setup but you guys have seen that a million times so this is our cocktail setup here we're still using the yorkville speaker here and then um sex guys plugged in right here and uh, he's just gonna be playing some tunes for the cocktail hour guest here. Taking a look at our photo booth. Today we're going with the white backdrop. We got the props organized nicely over here on the left hand side. Some of you guys have been asking me what are these cases that I use to carry around the media for the photo booth as well as the props for the photo booth. I'll link them down in the description of this video. I bought them from Amazon. They're SKB cases. They're pretty nice. I like them. Over here we got our RX1 DMP printer. And this is what the prints look like right there. Tonight we're celebrating with Anthony and Elise. And over here we got all the components for our photo booth. That's a Canon 70D and I did this whole bottom part. The whole build is on YouTube. You guys can check it out. I'm going to link it up in the card above. Watch that after this video. And then I got a ton of questions about this backdrop. I'm going to also link it in the description of this video. I bought this from PB backdrops. PB backdrops are traditionally known for their pillowcase backdrops. However, I use this um, pop-up one that I like way better because it condenses nice and easy. And I'll leave that in the description of this video if you guys want to check that out as well. This is the front of our photo booth. All you do is touch the screen and it'll take three photos. Now let me walk you through our DJ setup. So here we are, this is our DJ setup. Um, today we're going with four towers and it's perfect because this room is uh, it's a decent size. We're gonna be playing a lot of EDM, a lot of uh, you know high energy music. Our sax guy is gonna be hyping up the room as well. So we're going with four towers to light up this dance floor. On top of the towers, we got the focus spot three Zs and uh, Will did a really nice job of DMXing them. Look at that pattern that he's got going on in the ceiling he did a great job with that actually that actually looks really nice i gotta compliment him on that um the srx speakers are the ones that you see here we got one two those are the tops the 815s and then the 828p that is the sub right here on the ground that's a dual 15 sub lighting up our facade that is the ub bars from a dj and then our facade itself is actually a dj event facade but we have uh five panels you can buy an additional panel i'll link it down in the description of this video 
video as well as where you can buy that additional panel or if you want to just have two facades which I highly recommend so that you have spare pieces spare crims um, great idea to have both our towers are Global Trust America I bought these from my good friends over at Canal Sound and Light and these are the uh, two meter totems I think they're about 6.5 feet uh, over here you guys can see we uh, we switched out that orange cable for a black one this is mine we got the lay flats which I always highly recommend that all you guys get these lay flat cables are great they help you tape the actual outlet so that you know they never come loose I'm gonna link them down in the description of this video you can get like five for like 30 so they're pretty inexpensive and then we just tape 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 we got our PRX 712 here for our monitors we're using our flight cases Pro X flight cases from the focus spot as our tables for today we got a table here this is where I carry all my cameras my GoPro my big camera over there and then we have our Serato here running the DDJ 1000 SRT we got that we got the APC 40 from Akai and this is our lighting console then we have my DMX 3.0 running the lights um, as you guys can see here we also have a couple of triggers on the keyboard as well will he just programmed the strobe light so if we hit the space bar you guys will see that everything starts strobing and then if I let go whoop, everything stops press starts let go stops press starts stop so that's super dope that he did that. Let's go back to our room default and you'll see that the lights go back into position. This is all sax stuff right here. Got a pedal board, got a sax, got his wireless system. And that is pretty much it. I'm gonna grab my camera, gonna grab a battery and uh, we'll head over to ceremony. Ceremony starts in about 10, 15 minutes. All right, so here we are. This is our ceremony room. As you guys can see, it's very nice. Got my man Will here, looking sharp. Uh -uh. And then we got our system here, got our microphone, we got our Maui 5 Go, we got our iPad running DJ Pro and running our music. We got our program here, and uh, that's pretty much it. And without further ado, by the power vested in me by the internet and the state of New Jersey, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. I make this the rock. Are you ready, man? Yeah, Celebrate man. with Anthony and Elise. Hit it with a little something, something, bro. Here we go. Check it out.
Ultron.
see y'all know when we fight it. Yo. <laughs> to quote J 
Jay-Z after the show with the after party. If you're trying to get Lady 210, we're going to Bang Bang right after this. Let's go. Let me tell you. Amazing. If I could have curated a playlist myself, it would not have been as good as what happened tonight. It wouldn't have. My God. <laughs> Everyone was dancing. No one sat down. I, I'll be talking about this the rest of my life. I really will. <laughs> awesome, guys. Hire him. Woo! Now. Thank yeah. you guys so much. We're going to honeymoon or what? Wednesday, Curacao. And, and, bring, and I'm bringing bar. Oh, <laughs> enjoy, guys. Woo! I, I'm coming in a suitcase. Yo, check it out, guys. We destroyed the chandelier. There's a bunch. I mean, it's hard to tell, but like behind here, there's like two, three <laughs> foam sticks. Dance floor destroyed. That shit was crazy, bro. Wild. It was wild. What do you think? Good energy, right? Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. I didn't get to talk to you guys at all. It got very stressful. Time was flying. But then when it's time to play music, whoo, came all together. It all came together. It was, it was very nice. Very nice. One thing I do want to say though, a lot of you guys asked me, do people bump into my facade? Do people knock over my facade? And the answer is yes. I never answer you guys because it's just like, it, it's bound to happen. Today, not only did they bump into my facade, not only did they knock over my facade, but they actually, um, they actually broke it. They actually broke one of the hinges on my facade. Um, also, um, the music cut off at one point, and, um, but the crowd was a good sport about it. We only lost the music for about 10, 15 seconds, but, it was just good vibes, good vibes all around. The crowd didn't get pissed off. It was just like, they just kept going. It was, it was awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this gig log. Uh, this wedding was so much fun and I hope that came through in the video. This wedding was awesome. Don't forget that I'm going to be listing all the products that I talked about in the description of this video. Additionally, if you'd like to support my channel so that I can keep making more videos like this for you guys, please check out my good friends over at BPM Supreme and BPM Latino. BPM Supreme and BPM Latino, those two are some of my favorite record pools and they're hooking up all my viewers with a 25% discount by using promo code BAR25. That is a stealer deal on one of the best record pools in the game. Game. Additionally, I am also going to personally list my personal DJ tools in the description of this video. That includes my DJ crates that I use at every single one of my weddings, my planning forms to help me stay organized, the sound effects, my booms, my sirens, my swooshes, my swats. Definitely want to scoop those up because wedding season is upon us. So be sure to download my planning forms, DJ crates, TV visuals, sound effects, and much more listed down in the description of this video. And lastly, an easy way to support my channel is by by just smashing that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to at least 500 likes. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. and We are so close. So I need you guys to help me out by sharing this video, subscribing, and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we upload another video. Signing off, DJ Bar, stay awesome bros. Peace.